And after you leave a like, remember to smash the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet. And remember to hit the notification bell so every time I post a video, you can know right away. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. What's up, my YouTube friends, viewers, subscribers, everybody. Welcome back to another banger motivational video. And the topic for today is you need to give up. But before you start criticizing, oh, you always have a motivational video saying this and saying that. When I mean give up, I mean give up on what's not working. I mean give up on people that's not doing nothing for you. You need to give up on everything that's breaking you, stopping you, or blocking you. You want to know why? Because people often spend a lot of their time on nonsense. Stuff that's not doing nothing for nobody. You know what I mean? So when I say give up, I mean give up on everything that's not doing nothing. Because we live in a world where the older we get, the smarter we should become. And if you keep doing something over and over and over and over and over again, then clearly it's not meant for you. You know, a lot of people spend most of their time in certain areas or doing certain things and they never normally get nowhere. That's because it's not meant for you. You know, one thing I learned in life is if you're doing something that you should be doing, because our life has been written from the beginning to the end. So if you're doing something that you should be doing then things will flow accordingly so if you're if you ever feel like you're doing something and it's like no matter how hard you try it always seems to get nowhere then you're in the wrong area and i've said this in most of my motivational videos is you have to be interested and dedicated to something you have to do what you love you can't be doing what somebody else is doing and i think that's like another mistake a lot of people make is the fact that since they don't know what who they are sorry and they don't know what they need to do then they sort of jump on others bag wagon meaning oh if somebody's doing this they think they should do it no that's not how it works because you should take the time out to know who you are and what you're driven by if you watch most of my motivational videos everything is based on the same concept but in different areas so you need to figure out who you are and do what you love do what you can do because bro trust me Trust me, if you don't believe me, look at some people that you see do things for three, five, seven, ten years and they get absolutely nowhere. That's because it's not meant for you. If you're in the wrong area, it will never work. Because let me tell you something, whether you believe in God or not, he bless the person that you are, the person that he wants you to become, not the person that you're pretending to be. So with that being said is you need to give up. People that's not doing nothing for you, you need to give up on them. If you keep trying to reach out to uh, certain friends or you're trying to, say, advance to the next level and you want to bring your whole friends with you and they decided that they want to sit down and do nothing with themselves, that's them. You know what? Let me tell you something. You see, when you're in a different state of mind, it's not selfish. Let me say it from now. So when you're in a different state of mind, you will come to realize that. Your, your, your friends and your family, like when you get older, whatever life choices you make, it depends on where you will be, where you're heading. So you may make a life-changing decision. It doesn't affect your friends. It doesn't affect your family. And the older you get, whatever choice you make will only affect you. Your parents may want the best for you, but you may want something else for yourself, if you know what I mean. A lot of people may think it's being selfish, or oh, you want to do this and you don't want to involve nobody. Listen, your siblings, your cousins, your parents, everybody, when you get older, some road you choose to walk, you have to walk that road by yourself. Because you have to learn as you go and figure out stuff as you go. So with that being said, is it doesn't really matter what you're doing. Some stuff your parents can't teach you. And you have to put yourself in a state of mind where you want to win. And you, you, you have to be doing something that you love. If you keep doing something and it's like hard and it's draining, it's exhausting, bro, it's not meant for you. And I always say it, do something that you love and something that you're interested in. That way you can keep going because our brain was naturally designed to figure out stuff as we go. And I strongly believe that everyone have a unique ability but if you don't know what yours is then you're in the wrong area and you need to figure out what your area is you know what i mean because we're all interested in different things and we're driven by different things you got some people that still figuring out stuff as they go and some learning as they go you know what i mean but bro when you get older you will realize exactly what i'm saying 
Because a lot of different people watch me, some adults and some kids watch me. So, you know, most of the motivational videos I make is for young adults and older adults. So when you're in a different state of mind, you'll understand that you may want to, like you may see yourself doing way more than what you're doing now. But your friends, bro, they, they, they may not, they not, they're probably not as matured as you or they don't see themselves doing nothing as great. Like some people are okay with being average. And when I say give up, I don't mean cut them out of your life. I mean, give up on things that's not working, things that's not doing nothing for nobody. Like if you sit down with 10 friends, you're going to be the 11 broke friends there doing absolutely nothing. You know what I mean? So, bro, you have to give up on everything that's not working for you. Everything that's not working. You have to, you, well, not say have to, you need to give up on what's not working for you. Because clearly you're in the wrong area, bro. If you're constantly doing something over and over and over and over and over again, especially if you do it in different ways, because sometimes when you when you like when you set a goal and you make a move to get there, it's like playing chess. You make a couple moves to get to the other side of the board, and then sometimes it don't work. Then you have to change the strategy, but you keep the goal. But if you keep changing the strategy and everything is draining and frustrating and you're, you're, you're not motivated enough to keep pushing forward, then it's not meant for you. Those that say make decisions based off other people's lifestyle or other people or what everybody else is doing and they think they need to do it, they always get nowhere. Because it's not meant for them. But, you know, the older we get, the more we'll come to realize that we need to do stuff that, you know, stuff that we love. You need to give up. Give up on everything. Bro, if it's not working, it's not meant for you. You can't be gifted, say, with an ability to sing. And then you're going to get up and say, oh, I want to become a dancer or an engineer or whatever the case. It's not going to work because you should be doing it. And if you're not, say, if you weren't designed to do that job then you can't do it because all of us were designed to take on certain tasks in our life so if you notice that when you stray from certain stuff it's going to be hard if you do what you love it doesn't feel like work you know what i mean so with that being said is if you're if you're doing something and you like it and you want to learn as you go then you're almost on the right path if you didn't figure out what your path is but a lot of people spend most of their time doing wrong things you need bro Give up on everything that's breaking you. It's not making you. It's not doing nothing for nobody. You need to give up on it. Because, you know, I, I think life is like holding on to a rope. So the longer you hold it, it keep bruising your hand. You know, when you let it go, then your hands will eventually heal. So with that being said is if you're doing something you not, like you're not supposed to be doing or you weren't designed to do it, it'll never work. It will never work. And trust me, you may not know it as yet, but like I said, bro, all of us have a unique ability. All of us. You may sit down and you may think, oh, uh, I'm not talented. I'm not intelligent. Uh, I'm not skillful. Bro, that's because you didn't take time to figure out what you're going to. You know, in school, high school, every, say, grade, there's like different skill areas. So welding, plumbing, sewing, cooking, like those stuff. The school system was designed to figure out, well, for uh, the school system, let me say that one more time. The school system was designed for us to figure out what we're good at. That's why in high school, they give you different things to do. Like say from like every two months, like every term, sorry, then you'll do sewing. The other term, you'll do cooking. The other term, you'll do computer. That's for you to figure out what you're good at. Because high school is like, figure out what skills that, say, you like doing. Because you never know what you enjoy doing until you start doing it. A lot of people don't know that they enjoy baking. They don't know that they enjoy sewing. They don't know that they enjoy doing computers. You know, IT, those stuff, they don't know until they are in that class. That's why when you're in school and you do all those skill subjects whatever you fail they don't grade you on it because you're not supposed to be doing it you don't like it you can't understand it and bro that's just how it is the school system was designed to help us figure out what skill area that we're in some people naturally talented some people naturally intelligent but the skill area is for everybody so if you're not talented 
and you're not extremely intelligent, which means you can figure out stuff as you go and, you know, a lot of brain power, then I would say your area would be skilled or something else. You probably just don't know what it is. So let's say you should be doing, like say, let's say when you're, sorry, let's say when you're in uh, high school, you were enjoy cooking. And then when you grow up, you want to do welding or mechanic and you're there and you're miserable every single day. You're not supposed to be doing it. When you think back to all those areas that you were in, you probably say, well, you know what? I enjoy baking and I enjoy the computer class, but I'm working as a mechanic or a welder and I hate it. You know, you know like when you look back, then you'll understand that that's what you like. Because me, when I look back, I noticed that I like I used to do cooking in school, high school. And bro, I love it. You know what I mean? But there, there's things that you like we like different things but there's also that person that we should become like personally i thought i always wanted to become a chef always ever since i was in say seventh grade i always like cooking school i always bake and all these different type of stuff but the older i get i come to understand that i don't want cooking as a career i probably i enjoy cooking you know what i mean but what I notice, I want YouTube to be my career because I like making videos. I like editing video, you know, those type of stuff. But like I said, you have to keep going and, and you have to figure out as you go. If I was, say, doing something else, then I'll be miserable every day doing it because it's not meant for me. So some stuff that you're doing, you need to give up on it because you're investing too much time, too much effort, too much energy in the wrong area. And when you invest too much time in the wrong area, it's going to be draining and you're, you're going to feel or think that you're getting absolutely nowhere. And if you ever feel like you're getting absolutely nowhere doing something for a period of time, you're in the wrong area. You're in the wrong area. And if you look back at your life to say what class you were in or what you were doing or whatever the case may be, then you will figure out what you like. You have to do what you like because, bro, you know, I didn't know I would become a content creator or like being a content creator until I move overseas. Like every, like, bro, trust me, in high school, cooking, baking, those, I like, like the best thing when I was, say, in, I think, seven or eight grade was learning how to make potato salad. Bro, that's a class I'd never skip. <laughs> you know, if you skip a class, then it's probably your worst subject or you don't want to be there. And I liked chemistry. So... I used to think, uh, do I want to become a scientist or do I want to become a chef? I always wanted to become a chef. But when I move overseas and, bro, I always made videos from a long time, like those type of stuff, like slideshow videos and everything. I always like editing and those type of stuff. But the older I get, I notice now that I want to become a full-time content creator, but I will probably do cooking on my channel because that's what I, I enjoy so with that being said is you have to do something that you love something you enjoy something that you're interested in in order to go forward if you bro trust me if you're in the wrong area it's gonna be drained it's gonna be hard you can't figure it out so you need to give that's how life is it could be people it could be job it could be material things you need to give up on it because it's human nature to, say, adjust in certain situations and advance forward. So if you in like you keep doing something and it's not working, you change all the moves, you change your strategy and it's still not working, wrong area. Common sense. You shouldn't be doing that. And like I said, our life has been written from the beginning to the end. You know, I strongly think that with everybody, I don't think we're driven by one thing. I think everyone have different interests like at least three to five you know so it's like say with whoever you are i strongly think everybody like at least three to five things and you can choose one out of that three to five i i strongly think that because if you think about stuff that you like stuff that you enjoy doing you know you can Pick one. Like me, I would say I like cooking. I like uh, sneaker shopping. I like editing videos. I can go on and on and on. I like 
motivational speaking right now. I like challenges. I like to, you know, like stuff like that. You know what I mean? So with that being said is, you see, when you get to know yourself, then you know what you like, you know what you enjoy doing, and you focus on that. That's how you will proceed forward. If you keep doing something, it's not working. Bro, I've said it throughout the whole video because that's the punchline. It's not meant for you, and you need to give up. If you keep on investing time and energy in friends that don't want nothing for themselves, and you want something, then you need to give up on that friend. Because... Some people will make themselves less in order to make everybody else feel better. And that's what creates depression because you have to shrink yourself. You have to make yourself smaller with everybody else. Bro, I already made up my mind from a long, 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 long time ago. The road I choose to walk, whether people want to help me or not, I don't think that's really a changing nothing on my side because... I'm doing what I enjoy doing. If you watch me every day or every week or once a month or whatever the case may be, you will notice that I keep posting because I enjoy doing it. You know what I mean? If I didn't enjoy doing it, then you guys wouldn't see me making videos ever so often. You know, I like going out. I like having fun. I like doing this. I like I, I do everything that I love and put it on my channel. If I didn't like it, then it will be draining. If I wasn't supposed to be like making videos and edit it, I, I probably make two or three videos and boom, five, six years go by and then that's it. It's watered down because I, sh I shouldn't be doing it. So I won't be doing it. You know what I mean? That's just life and that's just how it is. You, like you need to give up. Like some people rather live less and they rather be less because that's just how they think and that's just what they want. Like you got to understand you can't force someone to advance up with you. And like I said, in say the middle of the video, is your siblings, your family, you may want something, but whatever decision you, you, you make, determine your outcome. A lot of people, they may not know it, but that's just the way how it is. A lot of people often think that if they make a decision, it's affecting everybody. But in reality, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Because if you say you want to become something, whether you're winning or losing, it only affects you. You may try to drag everybody down with you, but it's only affecting you. Your parents may say, I want you to go to school. I want you to be something great in life, but that's up to you. Because the only thing you can truly give somebody is information. That's it. If that person want to use that information to become something, it's up to them. Like you can't force somebody to do what, it, like the only thing we can control is ourself. And we can control how we make decisions, but you can't control how somebody else make a decision. Like somebody can come to you for advice and say, oh, uh, what you think of this? And you may be a genuine person and you may say, oh, uh, I think you should do this uh, or you should do that. But it's up to that person. Like a lot of people say they will talk to you, but they're not motivated enough to do it because like a lot of people can't do stuff on their own. They need somebody, they need a driving force. Yeah, that's the best word. They need somebody to say, you know what? Get up, get yourself there, go get this and go get that number. But that's your parent's responsibility. But the older you get, your parent is not going to be doing the same thing because you should know like what you need to do. You know what I mean? So with that being said is everything that's not working for you, you need to give up on it. You, like giving up is way better and easier and less stressful than holding on to something that was never meant to be. Trust me, you need to like whatever it is that's draining you, it's breaking you, it's causing a lot of problem in your life. You need to give up on it because it's doing nothing for you. It's just causing you uh, stress every day. Your stress is it's, it's like going to a job that you don't enjoy doing. I always wonder why people will go get jobs at somewhere that they, they don't like. You know what I mean? Like, it's not about the money. It's about what you enjoy doing. Because if, if you focus on, say, the money. I'm not saying money is not a good thing. Because who don't want money? But the point is, if you want to enjoy, like, work, and if you want to enjoy working, then you need to put yourself in an area that, say, you like doing it. You know what I mean? Then, so you're doing something you enjoy doing and you're getting paid. But that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say is you need to get money, invest in yourself, and do what you love. Because you like your 9 to 5. Or you, you like your 9 to 5 job or whatever it is that you do. But you need to take that money and put it in where you love. That's life.
And I think that's how people will uh, say get happiness is by doing something that you love. Because trust me, bro, if you do something you hate, you'll be miserable every single day. And you need to give up. All those friends you have that want nothing, they don't want nothing out of life. And they just want to sit down and be less and that, that that's okay. Hey, bro, listen to me. You can't force somebody to get up. You know, when, like, when you decide that you want to do something with yourself, it's like, naturally, you will think that you want your whole friends or whoever it is that you hang out with, you want them to... You know, rise up as a team. But with that being said, is everyone pace is different, everyone timing is different. And at some point in your life, you'll have two decisions. Is either you're gonna keep pushing forward or you're gonna make yourself less and be nothing. You know what I mean? So stuff that's not working for you, you need to give up on it. It could be a job, it could be it could be anything. You need to give up on it. It could be a relationship, it could be Say uh, where you live, it could be like, it could be anywhere. From it's not working, it's not meant to be. You need to give up on it. Giving up, you need to give up. You need to give up on it if it's not working. So that's where the problem is. A lot of people refuse to understand that that's where the problem is, but that's where it is. It's if it's not meant for you, it will be hard. It will be draining, and you need. To, I one hundred percent believe that you need to give up on what's not working for you. If it's breaking you, if it's causing problem, if it's making you make yourself less, you need to give up because life is about wanting more. Life is about advancing every day, seeking new knowledge, seeking new abilities, wanting to evolve every single day. And if you're in the same spot every single day, not growing, it's not meant for you. It's not meant for you. If you plant a seed, and you water it every single day it will grow if you stop watering it it will die if you can't get no water or sunlight it will die if it's not being taken care of how it should be taken care of it will die that's like yourself if you're not taking care of yourself if, if you're not getting the proper nutrient if you're not doing stuff with yourself if you're not say doing what you love i'm not saying you would die but you'll be miserable you know what i mean so, bro, you have to do what you do. like. Whatever it is that you enjoy doing, you need to be doing it. If you're the, if you're the type of if you're the type of person that say you always want to do something like what everybody else is doing, it's it's sort of like hopping on a trend. Everybody is doing it, so you think that you should be doing it. But if you weren't made to do it, then you, you're like when you do it, it's gonna be harder. It, that's like say if you guys watch me and you guys want to become a content creator, and then you guys are noticing that I am posting consistently, and then you guys can probably post like once every month or once every a uh, week or so. Like we're all different. Maybe I want it more than you. That's why I can keep posting each time, and maybe you're still figuring out what you need to do that's why you can't do it but like i said everyone time is different and eventually at some point in our lives we will be doing exactly what we should be doing i strongly believe that some people is just say slower than some and some people learn faster than some so that's just life and that's just how it is but my advice to you in this video that's a punchline and i want to say it one more time before i close this video whatever it is that's breaking you it's not doing nothing for you you can't seem to get nowhere. You're not learning. You're not interested. And you're extremely miserable. You need to give up on it. You need to give up on it. Because if you're doing something that you love and something that you enjoy, you won't feel like you're being, uh, like, what's the word? You won't feel like there's a, a burden on your shoulder. You won't feel like everything is harder than what it needs to be. If you feel that way, that's because you're in the wrong area. Trust me. So you need to give up on everything that's not working out for you. You need to give up. You will feel a lot better by letting it go instead of holding on to it. Because holding on to it causes more problem than letting it go. Trust me. I hope this message was useful for some of you guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Stay tuned. I will be back doing more stuff. You go enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. And don't forget to follow me on social media. I post daily on them.